Now mammals, here they are. Mammals have the amniotic egg. It's just inside the uterus. It has the same membranes and it has the same structures. It's just in a different location. Like we keep our amniotic eggs inside of us, which if you think about the advantages conferred by carrying your amniotic egg inside you, you don't have to worry about being stuck to a place. You can go ahead and migrate wherever you want to go and follow food supplies and get away from danger without being stuck to a nest that you have outside of you. And really, even though being pregnant makes you fat and slow and, um, like, well, pretty vulnerable, I mean, from a critter perspective, I'm speaking from a critter's perspective, not from a judgment perspective. Please don't make me re, uh, record this since I said we get fat when we make our babies, but we do. And it's because our babies need us to because it makes us protect them better. But anyway, <laughs> the whole point is that it let us be, it let us protect our babies while still being mobile and was hugely advantageous. Um. Diversity of mammals, wow, we've got a lot of different strategies, but keeping in mind that all of us nurse our babies. Um, there And mammals, you know, we tend to look at the mammals and be like, oh, look how cute. That thing, seriously, I've got a poop video about how hippopotamuses poop. Why do I have that video? <laughs> and why am I not showing it in all my classes? Like, it's a classic, epic video that we should definitely watch. Huh, I'm going to have to integrate that in. Look at these things. Seriously? I mean, diversity of animals, mammals, just phenomenal. But now you have a sense of, oh, these are the critters. Like, now you have a sense of evolutionarily how they're all related to each other. Aw, and then, hey, it's a newer picture of the fellas my little fishermen, and they're hanging out in a tree at the river. Oh, they're cute. Okay, so anyway, um, we have done it now. I don't have anything else to show you. And so I am going to um, say goodbye now. <laughs> Go make cladograms and practice knowing the characteristics that define each group. Peace.